This is Timothy Schutte with Exit Realty Capital City and the Timothy Schutte Real Estate Team. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're talking about new construction. New construction is something that's near and dear to my heart. It's something that I've, I've watched and been a part of and represented a few, a few handful of builders at this point in time in my career. One of the things that I love about new construction is the benefits that you get from it, from a modern floor plan, customizable floor plan. The different building products that you see today are much different than what they were 30, 40, 50, 60 years ago. And what, I, what we've come to expect from new construction continues to push the envelope of how we live in today's society. There's two main types of builders. There's a custom home builder and the production builder and kind of a combination of the two. What you typically see from a production builder is homes that are already built or in the process of getting built and you're allowed to pick out uh, some of the design colors and floors and paint and stuff like that, but not a whole lot more than that. They have very good systems and they stick to those systems so that, you, that, that they don't get off track by doing uh, like a change order or a wall change or something like that. A custom home builder, depending on which one you're working with or how much they are willing to customize, really your budget is the limit on what you can do. Um, and that's, it, that kind of can make it fun. You can put in you know, a, a, a doggy shower in your, in your mud room in order to uh, keep, your, keep your floors clean from, from after uh, Frodo or something goes out and gets uh, dirty in the mud. One of the other benefits with, with new construction is the warranties that you get. The, the, the ability to um, have a longer term products and less maintenance on your home uh, than if you were to go out and buy a resale that's 20, 30, 40 years old. There's an old rule of thumb when you are uh, buying a home that, or buying a lot to build a home on that the lot's supposed to be about 20% of your home build. And so what that means, like an $80,000 standard lot in, in a suburb, you would look at putting a $400,000 home on. If you're buying an acreage or you want multiple acres or if you are in a very tight market, that can fluctuate one way or the other. But for the most part, 20% is your rule of thumb. When it comes to the timeline of the property and with your current home and what you're looking to buy, that can be all up in the air. And that's one thing that I think takes some expert advice from a good strong realtor. With your current home, if you need to sell your current home, I typically recommend putting that on the market about a month after um, you got everything signed with the builder and the foundations in the ground. But that also depends on what you're selling. See, if you're selling a, a higher priced home to get into a lower priced home, the days on market on your higher priced home are gonna be much more uh, on that scale down build than if you're scaling up. If you're selling a 200 to get into a 400, the $200,000 market for a resale home is only a few months compared to you know the five six hundred thousand dollar where it's five six seven months and it takes less than that to build your home. When you're looking at building a home you have to design the inside and the outside. Some people like modern exteriors or the prairie style exteriors, mid-century modern exteriors, or a traditional exterior on that how on, on your next home. What that can what that can mean is difference in your prices on your roof lines, um, difference in the building products on, on how expensive they are and how fast it goes up. Once you get inside the home, you can look at how much, what do you want for trim packages? So do you want more, more trim, more headdresses, or do you just want clean, sleek lines? Do you want real hardwood floors or laminate vinyl plank floors? And that all can affect that price of that house tremendously and affect the timeline to build that home as well. The, the biggest thing once you get inside of a home is what your trim package looks like to distinguish it from the next home. During the build process, there's, there's multiple times where a builder will, could potentially ask for you to come through a home, particularly on a custom. There's always the electrical walkthrough. Where do you want electrical outlets? Where do you want coax cable outlets and ethernet cable outlets for your phone and internet? And then they go into the next stages of, of construction once you do that. Towards the end, right when the pro property is, or the home is finished, and the, but you don't quite own the home, the builder will ask you to do, a, do the blue tape walkthrough where you walk through with blue tape, find all the nicks, dings, and, and scratches that, that weren't found from the painter or the 
uh, trim carpenter, or things that didn't quite make it on the punch list items, and you have those corrected by putting a blue tape mark on them. With your warranty on your new construction home, that goes past closing. So typical warranty is one year, and you have a process for that. Each builder is a little different. They'll give you the subcontractor's list for things that are emergency items, or they will ask you to create a list of things that, that need to be corrected in that year. I always recommend you, you write that on the inside of your kitchen cabinet door. And uh, as that list goes, you usually turn one in after maybe the first month if there's a quite a bit, and on month 11 so they have a month to finish or to correct it before that one year timeline. A lot of times what you see with your warranty work is some drywall repair. So the average house loses about 500 gallons of water in that first year by drying out from the from being fresh lumber and drywall and mud and everything else. And that 500 gallons can create a few drywall cracks. Nothing to be concerned about. It's really just cosmetic, but it's something that needs to get fixed and taken care of. With that said, what I'd love to do is sit down with you and talk about what we can do to help plan your next move into a new construction home. We love new construction here at Exit Realty Capital City and we would love to hear from you. My phone number is 515-681-5677. Again, it's 515-681-5677. Thanks for coming to my YouTube blog. Have a great day.